What is up, boys and girls? Today, as the title of this video indicates, I will not be giving you my loot filter. Instead, I'm going to be giving you the reasons as to why I will not be sharing my loot filter, despite literally everybody asking about it a million times. Uh, I do share the skeleton filter that I use. It's Bina's filter, and, and I will be linking in the description to uh, his video and also his filter. But there are many reasons why I do not do this, neither for Path of Exile, but even more importantly for Last Epoch, because in this game, you have to learn to edit your own filter. I know it's incredibly annoying. I know I really didn't want to do this either, but hopefully by the end of the video, you will understand as to why you uh, kind of need to do it on your own. And then also I will be explaining some of the things that I clicked in Bina's filter to help me out uh, with my filter. Maybe things that were specific to me or things that were specific to the sort of way that I'm playing. So related to my faction or to my character in particular. Hopefully this is going to get some of you guys to start clicking around in uh, the filter that I think is very, very good. It is something that uh, allows you a lot of customization. It's very straightforward. All the rules are simply explained. And again, Bina does a really incredible job at simply explaining the sort of things that you have to go through to optimize it. But the reality is, I didn't do that much. I just did enough for myself. So, why do I not want to share my filter? It's because it's not perfect, guys. I mean, I'll be honest. To this day, I am still finding things that uh, I should have been finding from the get-go that I simply missed out on. A great example would have been uh, this idol, which is literally my best in slot. And I was aware of this prior to even Last Epoch coming out because I've played a very similar character previously. And I just didn't take the time to uh, find this. And therefore, I've wasted many days of searching through stuff. And uh, I, I was hiding it because it wasn't showing in the base filter. I am not a professional loot filter creator mastermind. I do not have a guide on how to mess around with loot filters. I do edit my own filters on Path of Exile. And I like editing filters in Last Epoch as well. But I didn't want to miss anything as a baseline. So for this game in particular, I did use Bina's filter. I am using it as a general filter. And then for the different characters that I'm going for, I'm going to be editing it on a character to character basis. So already, I just don't want any of you guys to miss out on things that you think should be in the filter, but I didn't end up adding them. There's many things that are specific to my faction. I am playing on trade, so generally I'm gonna be showing more items, but there's also going to be items that are completely useless for me because I, maybe I have access to them on the auction house and I'm never gonna need them in my stash. Therefore, I just don't need to worry about them until I do when I maybe make a new character and that kind of uh transitions into the next point that i really don't want anybody to limit themselves creatively you know if you're one of those people that likes last epoch that wants to play for a long time you're gonna have to learn how to use a loot filter it is very simple i know that it's scary and maybe you really don't want to do it because i was the same way but it's going to be worth it. It will open up new opportunities for you. You're going to be finding items that you didn't think you wanted to make builds with before. And uh, using those items to create new characters, new builds, and continue to play. And if you're one of those people that's telling me how uh, you, you're, you're not creative or you don't want to do that and you just want to follow a guide and you're not that guy, you're not that person, there are plenty of... Uh, perfectly well executed loot filters exactly specifically for the build that you are playing out there and plenty of guides for you to edit your loot filter in a way that's going to make it uh just perfect for you and for every character that you make but in my eyes every character and every loot filter is very very unique and it needs to work really well for exactly the sort of thing that you are doing at that time. What is great about Bina's filter is that it generally shows everything that I personally cared about. I didn't really run into too many issues, despite mentioning the previously, uh, well, the, the, the ward, right? This was kind of a problem for me. So I'll try and point you guys to a couple things that I think are worthwhile to look at, depending on the sort of content that you're playing. So for me, uh, some of you guys might know I am playing the Wraithlord character 
And things that are going to be important for me are going to be attributes, specifically intelligence. And this is something that this filter definitely uh, allows you to customize. You can see that there is, and again, all of this is explained in Bina's video. But if I were to walk you guys through it very, very quickly, there's an early leveling section. There is a very low level uh, section. So you've got the level 90s and you've got the level 45s. Adding and removing things here is going to be very, very valuable. For the most part, you're adding stuff and it's going to help you out a lot. And this will pretty much be the rule for the rest of the filter altogether. So in my case specifically, the thing that I would really, really look at would be attributes. Uh, none of the attributes are selected to show and attributes can be very important in the leveling. They are typically more of an end game thing, but depending on the sort of character that you're going to be playing and the items that you want, you know, maybe you're playing a dex character, you do want to be selecting that. For me, it's intelligence. This is just the skeleton filter. So this has been as base filter. I didn't edit it anything here i am not showing my current filter just so we're clear so a lot of these options are going to be unticked another thing for me because i am playing hardcore is uh defenses so you've got if you scroll up this is a very cool section it highlights a lot of the max roll builds for idols so if you're ever confused about whether or not an idol is useful because um maybe you're just not familiar with the build this actually covers a lot of that and it will show a lot of things that are uh, going to be of value potentially for future builds or maybe if you're playing on trade league uh, over there but uh, if we go over here this is the t6 exalted you are looking for plus high value affixes add wanted affixes this essentially is the high level version of what we were just talking previously so the uh, lower level stuff and yeah again Selecting attributes, but then if we go to the previously mentioned defenses, something that uh, was very important for me, actually, I think I already did edit this, is endurance, right? Because I'm playing hardcore in the early game or in the late game, endurance is very, very valuable. I'll actually deselect these. Why not? Just so we can actually keep it super duper clean. Um, because who knows? Maybe I won't be using endurance on my future character. And then uh, Ward. Ward is another one that, in my eyes, isn't selected and should be. So over here, again, I am deselecting it, but it should be selected because I think I did edit this after all a little bit. So originally, this is not selected. And then a final one would be one that I definitely forgot about uh, would be armor, which depending on the video game that you're playing is going to be typed out differently. So you've got increased armor of defense is the modifier. This is the flat armor. So added armor of the turtle, uh, of the typically indicates that it's going to be a suffix. So you can either select or deselect this. And as far as I am concerned, because I am playing trade league and I want a lot of items to be showing, these will be like the primary things that I'm going to be focusing on. But I mean, for my filter, I do a little bit more too because I want there to be uh, more dex items showing because of the dex stackers. And that's pretty much it. It really goes as far as that. Why I don't share it? I explained it before. Uh, even though it's not a lot of clicking, I do want you guys to really start clicking around because it's going to be that much more valuable for your long-term Last Epoch experience. And if you want the best experience in Last Epoch, I absolutely do think you have to begin to edit your own loot filters and it will seriously become uh, second nature for you guys. Would it be much easier for me to just give you my loot filter, be the content creator that you guys all deserve? Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, but in my opinion, uh, giving you guys the fish instead of the rod is not the right thing to do for anybody. That's pretty much the extent of it. The only other thing that I can mention is uh, look at the different weapon types, you know. Over here, you have to deselect the ones that you want. You can see that on the baseline, everything is selected. So for me, if I want like a wand or whatever, I'm going to have to like that. But that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to it. 
The descriptions are super straightforward. If you are ever confused about anything, make sure to check out Bina's video on the filter. There are plenty of other skeleton filters that you can use or base filters, whatever you want to call them. And then I like the colors on this one and uh, that's why I'm using it. But if you want to use anybody else's filter, as long as they have a good explanation on how to do things, uh, that's going to immediately get you started. I think you're going to end up really, really happy with it. And uh, there's no avoiding it if you are a long-term Last Epoch fan. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Hopefully, uh, to some of you guys that made it to the end, any of this was useful information. And to the people who somehow click on the video that says that I'm not going to give you my loot filter, expecting to get a loot filter. Uh, sorry, I guess. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. See you later.